Morning folks and welcome back to the shack. Today I am going to show you a little project that I've been messing around with again and it's a little QRP transmitter. Uh, for those that uh, are not radio guys, QRP is one of the Q codes which basically means low power. So I've been messing around with this to see if I can build up a little transmitter Morse code it's going to have to be unfortunately because it's very simple and I'm going to stick it in that mustard tin I had this mustard tin lying around and I thought it was quite a nice old school thing Coleman's mustard and I thought what happens if I can build up a little transmitter and stick it in that mustard tin and see how far we can get this is uh, about one watt uh, power, so um, don't expect brilliant things, but I happen to have a four square vertical antenna, so I'm hoping if I connect that to the four square, my one watt might sound like sound like a kilowatt even. No, that's a bit optimistic, but uh, it's got a bit of gain, so uh, it'll be interested to see how far we get with it. So I've just finished messing around with this and just been testing it, just to show you where the circuit came from. That's it there. I got it from this book here which is QRP Classics. I think it's quite an old book. It's American ARRL. came from a charity shop I think. But if you can find this book, it's got lots of interesting circuits in here. The QRP stuff. The circuit's very simple. It's a crystal oscillator built it for 7 megs, um, 40 meters, because that's what my 4 square is designed for. And we got the first transistor there, you can see that's a 2N2222, bulk standard RF transmitter, coil. And then the other transistor there, uh, I don't even know what that one is, so that they've mentioned 2N something, I can't read it from here. Uh, but I've put a 2N3866 there, which is uh, equivalent to an old school B uh, BFY-51 which some of the older guys will recognize and the rest of it's quite good. It's a very good uh, book for this because it tells it really sort of shows you in detail how to make uh, make everything. Anyway let's see if I can get this thing to work and see how many watts we can get out of it. So I'll just put it on. Got a LED and let's see the watt meter. That's about, about about a watt thereabouts, just over. Not too bad. We'll say we'll see how far we can get with that. Right, I have set everything up on the sh on the bench. I have my Eddycraft K3S transceiver, and here is my state of the art Coleman's mustard. Oops. Transmitter connected up to my Morse code key. As you can hear, there are a few stations around. But unfortunately, we're not on that. We are on this frequency. Where is it? About there. Which is what the crystal oscillates on. And we will see if we can get anybody. We might do, we might not. We can only try. Hungry! Thanks for call. Your RST five eight nine. 
name. QTH location. Swansea. So how copy? Seven and nine, that's not bad. His name's Robert. Solid copy, Robert. Many thanks for report. Rig is homebrew with one watt. Antenna vertical, four square vertical. Here, weather is raining. Cloudy. Okay, Robert. How copy? Thanks for a very nice QSO, hope to see you again. All okay, Robert. All okay, Robert. Many thanks for nice QSO. 
type. See you again. Best. 73s. And good DX. 73s. Robert. And goodbye and good luck. Seventy three is a good luck, Justin. So there we have a QSO with Hungary with one watt output with a homebrew mustard box transmitter. I think that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching.